After our last workshop on procrastination, a participant approached me asking how he might share most concisely what he learned with us during that day. You see, it was a very cognitively demanding day and kind of fries your brains and sends you into deep introspection and gets you raring to try and figure out what actions to take on your own life. And he was doing partly a reverse thing. He was trying to figure out how to pass on rather than how to directly first apply. He was trying to figure out how to pass on in like short steps what he learned from me that day. And I sent him, well, and I said it in the form of a story. I said, procrastination, think of it as kind of like the enemy. Anyway, that's how most people treat it. So you got to know three things. And here's what you can tell your students. You got to know three things. You got to know the nature of the beast. You got to know what procrastination is or what the nature of procrastination is. You got to know the nature of the hero. You got to know who you are, how you serve what you do, what you're about, what you stand for. And you gotta finally know like action steps, like how do I do that? How do I actually defeat the monster? So he got that, he got that immediately. Know who I am, know what I'm up against and figure out what I gotta do. And if you know the nature of your opponent in this case it was procrastination and you know your nature meaning your talent skills abilities you already know all you gotta do is figure out the steps so you can overcome the monster and what i didn't say but i feel he already got from having sat with us that day was that there are details underneath these three things which are of such richness, I just felt I had to share them with you. First off, know your enemy. And in this case, procrastination is when we hold off or put off or don't do things and we feel bad about them. And the nature of procrastination is that it's when the relative comfort of setting aside or not doing is more pleasurable than the pain of starting. It just seems, feels, we think that it's more difficult to even start or that the task is too big, that we can't handle it or that we can't or it's just too draining or we've had a bad experience with it before. So procrastination is when the pleasure of not doing far exceeds what you would have gotten from doing it when the pleasure of postponement is greater than the pleasure of execution when the pleasure of postponement is so much greater by contrast than the presented pain of engagement pleasure versus pain quite simple and since you know that's the nature of the beast, you can finally engage the most important thing you've got to know, which is who you are. Who are you? I mean, what do you stand for? Who do you see yourself as? Who do you see yourself in league with? And given who you are, what you're here for, how you serve, what you see as your purpose, and the legacy you hope to live and leave behind, it just becomes automatic that you know what you're supposed to do next. And there's no way that the pleasure of temporary postponement is greater than you knowing who you are and what you're supposed to do next. It's just simply automatic. And that's part of the inner game. So you know the nature of the monster, you know your nature, and under knowing your nature or inner game of identity, there's, you also gotta have a clear mind. You know, if you don't have a clear mind, you're in your own way. 
So clarity of mind. Also there are mind frames, the mind frames of growth and adaptation. Make sure that you don't see things as such a huge stumbling block and you naturally see that stagnation is that the way. You understand that life isn't built that way. That you always are moving forward anyway. So you might as well be deliberate about it. And then finally, knowing the nature of the beast of procrastination, knowing your nature and what you stand for and what you can do and what you should be doing, there's now the outer game of productivity, the outer game of actions, strategies, techniques. There's now the outer game of building rituals and habits. And that's a whole other discussion. But to summarize, hope you got something really deep from this. You gotta know what you're up against. You gotta have inner game. You gotta have outer game. And get at it. Take action. Take action now. Beat that procrastination. And see you soon.